It says that you cannot produce a surah like unto the Quran. Agreed? Agreed. Right. How long is the shortest surah? Three verses. Three verses. How long do the jinn speak for in the chapter of the jinn? Fifteen not, verses. Then, My question I'm, is, I'm, I'm, the fifteen I'm, I'm, verses the 15 of the verses direct quotation of the jinn, are they incomparable or They're not? Incomparable. They're incomparable. The reason why it's a problem, ladies and gentlemen, is that Allah is testifying. This is the witness of Allah, that the words of the jinn are equal to his own. So, here we've got, here we've got the Quran, okay? And it says the following. It was revealed to me that a band of unseen beings listened and said, Indeed, we have heard a wondrous recital that guides to prudence, so we have come to believe in it, and we will never associate anyone with our Lord. Most high is the grandeur of our Lord. He never took a female companion nor a child. Our fool, our fool used to speak untruthfully about Allah, and that we thought that humans and unseen beings would never say a lie about Allah and that certain men among humans used to seek refuge in certain men among unseen beings. So my first question is who are the unseen beings being spoken of here? Well, what's the, what's the, um... the jinns. What's the, what's the chapter? Uh, the chapter is the jinn yeah. and we've read from verse 1. The jinn. So when the Quran quotes these jinn, are these jinn, are, are these quotes accurate? How, how do we know that Allah has, so how do we know that the jinn have said these things? So basically you're asking me to prove how we can test the unseen. No, I'm asking you to tell me what confidence you have that these quotes are accurate and why. Because we have our reasons. Which are? For the Quran being the word of Allah. Right. Right. Okay. So the, ultimately, the reason we believe anything in the Quran is not because of uh, necessarily beginning with um, you know, historical verification or anything like that. It's because we ask the fundamental questions. Who is the author? We, the claim is it's Allah. Yep. How do we test that? Allah yep. provides the falsification test. It provides certain claims, certain promises. Who's the one that brought it to us? Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What, what did he claim? He claimed prophethood. So yep. what are the evidences for his prophethood? So on and so forth. So when we go through these investigations, when we come to realize that the claims are true, that Shall the Quran we, is just from Allah, here and that the Quran is from Allah and the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is uh, the messenger of Allah. That's how we determine that the news of the unseen is in fact true. Okay, so let me, I, I want to make sure that I don't strawman your argument sure. and that I understand what you've said correctly. Sure. So you have said that because you believe that the Quran is from Allah, yeah. therefore you believe that these quotations are true yes. and that the jinn have really said these things. Yes. Right. So we, we agree that it's the jinn speaking. Yeah. Right, brilliant. Can we pull up the next verse? Right. The Quran also says... <laughs> you, you stood here. So it says, Say most surely, if all humans and unseen beings... Who are the unseen beings again? Jinn. Jin, were to come together to bring forth the like of this Quran, they could never bring forth the like of it even if they backed up one another. No. Right, so let me ask you this question. If the jinn have spoken in, in the passage of the jinn, Allah has testified that the words of the jinn are equal to his words because we find them in the Quran. Allah is just simply quoting them. Is, the, the, is that quote an incomparable Quran? Well, uh, I don't understand the point. What are you trying to say? Are you trying to say that what the, the jinn are saying is what Allah is saying? What I'm trying to say is that there's a contradiction in the Quran. Do you agree with me that the Quran states that if man and jinn work together, they could never produce a Quran? They That's could correct. never produce even a surah like unto the Quran? That's correct. So I'm not, I'm not straw manning Islam? No. No. I'm not being unfair to Islamic teaching? No, this time, no. Right. But Allah testifies that the jinn and then he quotes them in this long passage. Could we pull it back up? The the jinn passage. Yeah, he quotes them. Lose it. Yep. Please, uh, verse, oh, let's, verse, let, let me hold verse, the phone. Which verse in particular? So here we get to start from verse one, okay. right? What's the shortest surah in the Quran? Uh, the last one, right? 
No, it's not. I think it's a Kothar. I think a Kothar is uh, smaller than um, uh, Ahed. Uh, and how, 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 many, how many verses in it? Three. Three. So let's see if the jinn speak for more than three verses. Verse one. It was revealed to me that a band of unseen beings listened and listened in and Quran. said... When he says, Qul Awhiya, Ilayya, yeah. Yeah, who is it saying? It doesn't matter because it's the quote that I'm interested in. No, it's and it's said, no, it's the quote no. that I'm interested in. And said, so now it's quoting the unseen beings. This is the bit that I'm interested in. Hold on. Well, you tell me, you tell me. Okay, let's do it, please. No, 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 hold on one second, because this is my point. You, you asked to see the passage again. Let me say what I've got to say. Now, for my argument to work, it's irrelevant who that first phrase is about, because what I'm interested in is the quote. And the quote reads as follows, and we're going to read the entire quote. And let's see if it's more than three verses, you said. Three. The shortest surah of the Quran. Okay, no, no, before you go to that, okay. what do you understand by, what do you call it, if mankind and jinn kind came together and backed up one another, they would not produce a surah like it? So, so what it means... What, does, what, what do you mean by verse? Do you know what the criteria is for producing so, a surah? So I'm going to use what the Quran does, and a, a, a surah is, is a, a passage of the Quran. It's a passage of the Quran. Allah doesn't give you the surahs. Let's not get bogged down in, no, 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 in silly no, technicalities. No, no, no. No, why, why, I deal with my point. I am dealing with your point, okay. but I'm taking it to its fundamentals because now you're saying that there are more than three the verses says, or three verses the that are the jinn speaking. Yeah. yeah, this is not them trying to produce the Quran. Quran. But they have. No, they haven't. No, they have. And shall I tell you why? No, no. So, so this is not the Quran. So this is not the Quran. Wait, sorry. Let me tell. tell you know, answer me this. Answer me this. Answer me this. Answer me this. Shall produce. we do this time? Shall we do this time? No, no. I'm just because you're, you're not letting me. Shall we do this you're time? You're not letting me actually. Uh, think it. Yeah. When you're saying that simply because Allah is quoting the Quran, uh, like quoting quoting what they're saying, and it appears in the Quran, when when Allah says that they wouldn't be, be able to produce something like it, it's something original. Right? Not a quotation. So, for example, if you today quoted the Quran five it's verses, gone. if you quoted five verses of the Quran today, you can't say that I have created something like it. That's not the criteria for creating something like it. So, pro producing any quote, because you have quotes from Ibrahim alayhi salam. Yeah. You, have, you have quotes from Ibrahim alayhi salam. You have quotes from Musa alayhi salam. Yeah, this you is have quotes, all the same problem. You have, no, it's not a problem. It's all the same problem. According Can I explain why it's a problem? According to what scholar? Can I explain why it's a problem? Because the reason why it's a problem, ladies and gentlemen, is that Allah is testifying. This is the witness of Allah, that the words of the jinn are equal to his own. Now let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Calm down, calm down, calm down. So let me finish. Allah is testifying that the words of the jinn are equal to his own. Why? Tell me, am I now reciting the Quran? Indeed, we have heard a wondrous recital that guides to prudence, so we have come to believe in it, and we will never associate anyone with our Lord. Is that from the Quran? Which page? I know it's in English, but is that from the Quran? We can do it in Arabic, no, no, but it's the same thing. No, this is, this is it the Quran? What are you talking about? Is it the Quran? Yes, yes this is the Quran. Is it the speech of Allah? Yes. So, uh, but is Allah quoting the jinn? Yes. So Allah is saying yes, that the jinn the jinn have spoken incomparable words because I can't produce words like the jinn. Can I produce words like this Quran? Can I produce words like this Quran? Can I produce words like this Quran? First of all, can I? Can I produce words like this Quran? Question a thousand times if you like. What do you call it? When Allah is quoting them, right? Yep. He's first of all, is he quoting them verbatim? Well, yes. Uh, where does it say it's quoting them? Are you saying that Allah is misquoting them? No, so you can quote someone, you can quote someone, but you don't have to quote them verbatim. No, a quote is, he said X, Y, Z. A paraphrase is, this is the meaning of what he said. Allah is quoting the jinn. Now, let me ask you, can I produce a surah equivalent to the words of the jinn, yes or no? No, he cannot. No, I cannot. No, I cannot. He just said it. No, I cannot. Hear me, not there. I'm here. Yeah. Listen, first of all, when Allah says about the book, I'm talking to him. You want to talk to someone? Are you Are you happy to let him speak for you? Not in the moment. No. There you go. Oh right. Now please notice that he was willing not to interrupt him. Let's see if he shows me the same courtesy. Go on. You're a lying clown. And that means you're. There you go. 
Your prophet, your prophet has led you in a bad way, bro. With regards to Allah quoting these people, right? For example, we have the uh, statement of Fir'aun in Surah Taha. Yep. Okay. Where he quotes him. Closing. Where he quotes him saying. Oh, got it. Uh, saying two different things, and this is one of the many um, arguments that people try to bring with regards Thanks. to the Qur'an and the variants and stuff. But we, it is well established in Islam that when Allah is uh, quoting what someone is saying, it is not necessarily word for word. Okay, this is nothing. So if you're going to judge the Quran, judge it by its own merit. Okay, do not in impose your understanding of whatever it is onto yep. the Quran. Yep. If you want to falsify Islam, show us that the scholars of Islam have said so okay. and so about the thing. Hold on. Yep. With regards to Allah saying about the jinn, what did the jinn actually say? The jinn actually state that the Quran was a miraculous thing. Right? Yes, says so it there. Never, that they have never heard before. Yep. And they also testify that if. Um, um, all of mankind and jinn came together. So the jinn themselves in this uh, in this chapter are testifying. Okay, so let me. You cannot. Okay. So for you to come now. So, and so say no, that allow, allow, done it, allow me to reply. Allow me to reply. So the brother is right to point out the contradiction. What? Because that's what we've got here. The Quran it's claims. Oh, wait a minute. You wanted me to listen to you. Yes, I did. Now the the the, the fact of the matter is that the Quran claims to be incomparable, that no one can speak words like Allah. But then in that very Quran, what we read, sorry, what we read are direct quotes from Allah quoting the jinn. So my, so, so, so the point is this, the point is this, remember at the beginning of the conversation, honest Muslim, what did he say when I said, how do we know? that the jinn really said this. And he said, we know it because this is the word of Allah. So you have said that because you believe that the Quran is from Allah, yeah. therefore you believe that these quotations are true yes. and that the jinn have really said these things. Yes. Right, so we, we agree that it's the jinn speaking. Yeah. That means that we can trust that these are direct quotes from the jinn. And the words of the jinn are in the Quran. And the Quran is the word of Allah. So according to Allah, I and the whole of the jinn could not write words, could not write words equal to the quotation of the jinn. Which means the words of the jinn are incomparable. Do you get it? Do you get it? Yeah, you get it. Okay, yeah, you I get, get it. it. I get it. So, so, what do you call it? Bob, when you quote the Quran in Arabic, so when I recite the Quran in Arabic, yeah? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Maliki Yawmideen, Iyaka Na'abudu wa Iyaka Nasta'in, Ihdina Sarat al-Mustaqeem, Sarat al-Ladheen an'amta alayhim, Khayr al-Mahdoobi alayhim, Walal Dali. Brilliant, well done. Okay. Have I, have I recreated the, the Quran? Well, that's another problem. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no, you've asked me a question. You have asked me a question. Allow me to reply. So he's just changing the battery. So he asked me a question when he recites the Quran, has he recreated the Quran? No, no. Have I no one, the Quran well, look, we, similar like look, it? Because that's the challenge, look, isn't it? Stop interrupting. Let's do this no, fairly. Let's do this fairly. Let's be clear, guys. There are 15 surah, sorry, 15 ayahs of direct quotation of the jinn in this one surah. 15 verses that I as a man and no other jinn according to the Quran could ever produce the likeness thereof. 15 verses of direct words of the jinn that Allah says no man or jinn could write something like it which means by Allah's testimony, the jinn have already produced ayahs like the Quran. Because the shortest surah of the Quran is only three verses. And we have 15 verses of speech by the jinn. Now, he answered the question, he asked the question, if he quotes, it's from the surah, the jinn. And it goes on for 15 verses of jinn speech. Not God speech, jinn speech. And jinn, and Allah is quoting the jinn. 
and then Allah tells me so that speaking. the jinn that he has quoted have spoken words that I can't write something like. Which means the jinn have produced words comparable to Allah's words because just like I can't write something like Allah's words, I can't write words like the words of the jinn that Allah quotes. Now he asks the question, you shouldn't interrupt. Now he asks the question, if he quotes the Quran, does that mean that he has created the Quran? Well, this creates another problem for Muslims because they have within their religion an incarnational theology with no category of incarnation. Incarnation, for those of you that don't know, is the uncreated entering into and being surrounded by the creation. That's what incarnation means. If he, a created man, recites the Quran and makes noises, the words of the Quran are uncreated. So that's the uncreated bit. But the sound and the breath and the noise are all created, which means that the created and the uncreated sit together at the same time. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is incarnational theology of the Christians. For us, we have no problem with it. But Muslims deny the incarnation, and so they have a problem with the teachings of their own religion. Can we pull up the verse where it says no one can write a verse like that? Yeah, go on. If you interrupt less, I won't have to go on for as long. Yeah, but if you stop showboating, I think it would be more productive. Let's draw the crowd. Carry on. Well, you, you can do it for the crowd. I'm doing it for truth. Go on. All right. Right, we'll deal with it. Oh, no, I've already dealt with it. You just ignored everything I said. Go on. All right. So, as I said to you, okay, now the thing is, for you to prove this, you'd actually have to bring scholarly interpretation of this, of what you're saying as well. I would like to see you provide a scholarly quote, all right, paraphrased or not, where any other scholars of Islam have said that this is actually one of the criteria of reproducing the Quran. What is the criteria? Because you seem to know, right? What is the criteria for producing a surah like it? Okay, are you asking to, a question I'm now? I'm asking you a question. According okay. to Islam, what is the criteria for producing a surah like it? So producing a surah like it means that in terms of its beauty, in terms of its eloquence, in terms of its elegance, in terms of its applicability, in terms of its majesty, in terms of its logical consistency, that no human beings could write something like the Quran. And just so you can see the verse, it says in the Quran, say most assuredly, if all humans and unseen beings, that's the jinn, were to come together to bring forth the like of the Quran, they could never bring forth the like of it, even if they backed one another up. Now, have I strawmaned Islam there? I'm asking you, where's the, where's the evidence for, for, for the... For well, the, tell me for I'm the, wrong. For the criteria that you've given. Am I wrong? No, no, because you, like I said, you've come Are here. you telling me that I'm wrong? Hold on. Let me speak. What happened to interruption? Right? Like I said, because you're showboating and everything, you've come to me with this, you know, confidence that you seem to know what you're on about. So I'm not going to neither confirm nor deny, but I'm asking Just you... Just pause one second. Could you find the verse that says if this was from any other than Allah, there would never be a contradiction therein? Yeah, okay. So, um, as chapter 4, verse 82. If I'm 482, there we go. Um, what do you call it? Where do you get this criteria from? So when you said eloquence, all of, the, all of these things that you've listed, where do you get it from? My conversations with Muslims. Uh, what happened to scholarly? What happened to the... Well, are they wrong? Tell the, tell, say to the camera no, 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 I'm you. that they are wrong to I'm, say so you, no, so that you, the Quran is incomparable so, no, no. in beauty and majesty. No, no, I'm talking about the criteria. Don't, Am I wrong? That's wrong, man. Am I wrong? I'm asking you because I'm going down this evidentiary trail with you now. Right? Okay. So, you're telling me now that you're coming to me again shouting and you know doing, doing this show yeah. based on what Muslims have told you so you haven't actually confirmed anything for some yourself. of those Muslims are scholars name one 
I don't remember the name. No. Oh, okay. Well, I can't take it for you, can I? Oh, no, of course not. <laughs> but, so, but, but just tell, say to the camera I'm wrong. Say to the camera I'm wrong. I'm not going to say that. Because there you go. Yeah. Did you see that? He wouldn't say I was wrong. Yeah. I gave him the definition, the point, and when he had the opportunity to say that I was wrong, he wouldn't say I was wrong. The point here, the point here, is that you're Sorry. not. No, the point here, you're missing the point completely. The point here is that you're not coming from a place of knowledge, right? Tell me again. Let me ask you a more direct question. The quotation of the gin. So, no, so. Yeah, let me finish your point. No, no, then. So, nothing from what you have said is actually what you try to produce now. So, none of the criteria that you established, which is actually true, okay? There we go. I wasn't wrong. I was true. It was right. I was right. There yeah. we go. I was right. Yeah, but I've, I've just exposed that your ignorance of the actual criteria from evidence. You got. You just said I was true. That I was right, and that I, what everything I said was true. Hold so on, I wasn't on. wrong. Well, well, uh, you just sank yourself, bro. No, I haven't. Because <laughs> what I've proven is that you are ignorant from a from a perspective of actually attaining knowledge. Getting, Great. Getting correct information from hearsay. But I was still right, that's though. That's lucky. That, that, that's you be getting lucky. There we go. I was lucky, yeah. but I was right. So, and that's the point. Well, it doesn't matter no, if I was point. lucky. I was still right. But well, here's where you're wrong. Here's where you're wrong. That the quotations in the Quran is a criteria for producing a Quran like it because you never mentioned that as part of the so, so let me ask you this you question. From Muslims. Let me ask you this no, no, question. Hold on. Do you understand? No, no, no. Okay. Do, you, do you understand? I understood this? what you said. So well, let me ask you a question. So does your point let, say let, that? Let, yes, it does. No, let it me and I'm gonna show you why. This is not a criteria. I'm gonna show you why. Let me ask you this question. Go ahead. Those fifteen verses of direct quotation of the jinn, right? Are they incomparable or not? When Allah quotes the jinn, this is not his own speech. You're not answering my question. Don't change my question. Answer the question I'm asking you. The question that I'm asking you, the 15 verses yes. that directly quote the jinn, so it's the jinn that are speaking, are those verses incomparable or not? I already told you it's not verbatim. No, you didn't. Have, that's not my question. I didn't ask if so they're verbatim. No, no. So, when you're saying so you're I'll ask you again. My question I'm is, a, I'm a, the, I'm 15 the 15 verses of the direct quotation of the jinn, are they incomparable or They're not? They're incomparable. They're incomparable. Right. There you go. So, so that means the words of the jinn are incomparable. Right. Who else's jinn, words are incomparable? This is, this is a, Allah's jinn, words. And this is the jinn actually, it's, the thing is, look, like I said, you're trying to bring up that the jinn have reproduced Sorry. You know, a, or a Quran similar to the Quran that we have, you know, produce something like it. They did. The Quran us, uh, but in the jinn us simply, they themselves are saying, we, ha we, ca we haven't and we can't. That's what they say. But Allah says they have and no, they no, did. No. Yeah, the Muslims don't want to watch this anymore. <laughs> the Muslim channel doesn't want to watch this anymore. <laughs> okay, so so let me explain why this is a problem, ladies and gentlemen. Let me explain why this is a problem. We have a contradiction in the Quran, and it is up to you to decide whether it's a contradiction for Allah to say that his words are incomparable, and then to quote the jinn, which means that those words are incomparable. It says in the Quran, do they, that's me, not ponder the Quran, for had it been from any other than Allah, they would have found in it a many a contradiction or discrepancy. This is a contradiction and a discrepancy. Again, again, you're not understanding it. Like I said, even with the quote, when I asked you for the criteria, yeah. it is, it's... Thank you. We can continue now. When I asked you for the criteria, yeah, we're done. you didn't produce quotations as part of your criteria. Right. Why not? So, why not? I quoted the Quran. Why not? And you did not dispute the Quran. No, I didn't because dispute Because I don't the have them on me. I don't. I look at me, look at me right now. Look at me right now. This is not how I usually dress. I usually come with a Bible and a Quran. No, but you came prepared. Yeah. For this. Because right? it's in here, bro. No, so, you, so, so, if you, so if it's in here. Stop panicking. You prepared, stop I'm panicking. Not panicking. I'm not panicking. Right? You're not letting me finish. So, so. You the, need to let me finish. No, one second. One, I, I offered to do this timed with you. Yeah, but you so should. So, would you like to do it timed now? No, I'm not, I don't need that. Okay. We're both adults, but you need to let me finish. Right. right? So, so you're, you're saying to me, why didn't I come with this quote from the scholars yeah. that said that my criteria about what makes the, the Quran incomparable. Where, where, where's the quote from the scholars? Yeah, right. And why haven't I got it? Yeah. But then when I said what my criteria was, yeah. he said that my criteria was correct and that I just got lucky. It doesn't mean? matter if I can produce a scholar that says it. He agrees with the criteria oh that I gave. No. 
You're okay. missing it again. You're still missing it. I don't understand how you're doing it. What this. I want you to tell me you're is missing. this. You're I want, missing I want, no, I want, I want to progress your argument based on what you said. You said that these aren't direct quotations. Hold on. We're still looking at criteria. The okay. criteria that you mentioned that I said you were correct on didn't mention quotations from the Quran itself. That wasn't part of the criteria that I said you were correct on. So the scholars, right, never ever mentioned that you quoting the Quran or reciting the Quran or people who are being quoted in the Quran is it says that it says it, it, it says because it's still Allah's it, it, speech. It, it it's says Allah speaking. it says that you cannot produce a surah like unto the Quran. Agreed. Agreed. Right. How long is the shortest surah? Three verses. Three verses. How long do the jinn speak for in the chapter oh of the jinn? Fifteen that not, verses. That is not a criteria for the Quran being replicated. I want to. I want to go back to something yeah. you said this earlier is, in the debate. Like, that's, that's like, what do you call it, just doing it with anything. I want, to, I want to go back to something you said earlier in the debate, because part of your defence, which contradicted something that you said earlier on in the discussion, was because I said, how do we know that the jinn said this? Because Allah, you said, Allah's yeah, it, right. right. I never so, said that. But then you said, but then you're saying that these are not direct quotations. Yeah. Yes. So, are you saying that these are paraphrases? Yeah, essentially, you could put it that way. Prove it from the Quran. This is something from the scholars. The scholars, and we know this. So from not the Quran. Quran. No, we know this from the scholars have no have come to know this because of, for example, with the Qira'a. I mentioned earlier with regards to Pharaoh being quoted twice yep. in the same event, yep. saying two two different things. Two different things. So a contradiction in the Quran. Just, just stop with your sound bites, okay? It's not. It's not well, well, is, if, if no, they're no. different, then they're different, aren't they? No. So they're not different. No, because you can. So say, they're the same. You can say the same thing in different ways. Same thing in different ways. Right. So Allah is not quoting. So when no, Allah, so Allah says, so when Allah one second, in in the surah of the jinn, it says that the jinn said. Yeah. Now, if the jinn, if Allah is testifying that say. the if Allah is testifying that the jinn said, and he quotes them, is it befitting of Allah to paraphrase? Yeah. Why it not? is. Okay. Why not? So when he says. So if someone paraphrases you, yeah. yeah, you would turn around and you say, no, that's not what I said. No, no, if, it's the, if the meaning is correct, why would I, why would I uh, negate it? Right, so the paraphrase, the paraphrase argument. The idea that Allah is simply paraphrasing what the jinn say. I would need to see some evidence from the Quran that states that Allah paraphrases. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Have you got a scholar that says that Allah para paraphrases? I don't come prepared for this, you, you have. Okay, right. so he dismissed my criterion because I didn't have a scholar. No, no, no. Doesn't no, have a no, scholar no, no, himself. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't try this. Please use Shake Google. No, don't do this. I don't rely on Shake Google. I've got the books at home, okay? Okay. The thing is, right, when you come, when you come here prepared for a subject, I expect preparation when you come to someone and bring up a topic on them that they haven't studied for if i was to schedule this debate with you no problem well, present the quotation then what needs to happen Easy. now what right. needs to happen now is you need to go away and you need to demonstrate with evidence to, to that away. allah it's paraphrases your no, it's your claim it's your claim my claim no, no, is no, no. that allah quotes the jinn and that's what the quran then shows you have to know because you're the one that came to me you came to me with the claim that allah quotes the jinn that the quotation is a criteria for producing a surah like it. Right, let's, 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 let's deal you with that to, argument. You have to deal, you let's have to deal with that argument. You have to evidence that. Let's so, deal with that until argument. Until you can evidence that, your sound bites and your showboating, that's a... People, no, people can nothing. decide whether I've got a point or not. But let's well, deal with the argument. Let's, let's, deal, let's deal with the argument. Deal with your... Deal, deal let's with deal the with the argument. The deal with the argument. Let, let's deal with the argument. That he's he's trying to get out of it by a, he's trying to get out of the problem I'm by a technicality. No, Are we just going to talk over one another now? Are we going to talk over one another? It's the burden of the proof. Do I just need to raise my voice? You do it anyway. Okay. It's so 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 no no no. Let's let's have a conversation. No, you're trying. Okay. You're, you're accusing this me. Is, this you're is breaking down. Me. This is breaking down. Because you're accusing me of trying to get out down. of it. All I'm doing. I am replying to your point, which is what happens in a discussion. Don't accuse me of running away. So I'm replying to your point because this is what happened. So. He's trying to get out of the problem through a technicality. And the way that he's trying to get out of the problem is wow. saying that it is not sufficient on the basis of Allah's testimony, of Allah's quotation of the jinn, to say that this quotation is the kind of criteria 
that we can use to produce something like unto the Quran. Because the Quran lays down the challenge that you can't produce anything like unto the Quran. But when I asked him in the conversation, could I or any man or any jinn produce something as majestic or as beautiful as the words quoted by Allah of the jinn, he said, no, you couldn't. Which means that he is upholding the idea that the words spoken by the jinn are incomparable to the words of Allah. Again, this is the thing. All you want to do is repeat the same stuff you've said. You're not actually dealing with the argument. Because your argument is based upon no, a, no, no, no. a silly technicality. It's not silly technicality. What's a surah? You came, okay, you came, so let's do this. You came, you came here with let's the, do it clinically. You came here with What's the a surah? I, I've been trying to do it clinically, and all you've done is repeat the exact same thing all the okay. time. What's a surah? You've been straw manning me. What's a surah? Accusing me. Hold on. You've been you know, what's a surah? All I'm doing is telling you produce the evidence for your claim. Okay, what's a surah? The crux of the matter is. Okay, that you're claiming that quotation is by itself a standard and a criteria to as to reproduce a surah, to reproduce a surah like it. What, what's a surah? Any surah. What right? is a surah? Surah is a chapter of the Quran. Ch surah is a chapter of the Quran. Okay. Right. So and what is the shortest surah? Uh, I might be mistaken, but it's either al kofar No. No, it's not. It's all right. <laughs> Carry on. What do you call it? It's either al kothar or, or, or Surah Al-Ikhlas. Right, and what is the content of a surah? What do you mean, what is the content? Well, I'm, I'm trying to be as clinical as possible because you're arguing that my criteria is wrong. No, no, I'm no, no. using, one second, I'm using the criteria of the Quran. The Quran says that you can't produce a surah like unto the Quran. The shortest surah of the Quran is three verses long. The quotation of the jinn goes on for 15 verses. Okay. So the jinn have already produced something like unto the shortest okay. surah of the Quran. Here's your problem, here's your problem. In one of the criteria of the um, of uh, producing a surah like it is that it has to be in the Arabic language. Would you agree? Yes. Right. Do the jinn speak Arabic? Uh, we don't know what language they speak. So how are you t telling me that Allah is quoting them verbatim? Can you say that they don't speak Arabic? Yes, I can. So tell me how did the... Oh, okay. So he says that the jinn... Right, I've got him now. No, this, is, this is clutching at straws. No, it's not. He, listen, you don't know, you don't know. Hold on, hold on one second. You don't know what I'm going to say. He said that he said now the reason why the jinn don't produce something like unto the words of Allah is because the Quran exists in Arabic and the Quran exists in Arabic and the jinn don't speak Arabic. But the very surah says that the jinn listen to the Quran in Arabic. So if they can understand the Quran in Arabic, they can speak Arabic. Actually, first of all, that's not true. Simply being able to understand the language doesn't mean that you can necessarily speak it. Okay? So don't give me that. Right? So they so they can't understand hold on, hold on. it. First How do they understand it if they can't all, speak Arabic? First of all, I never said all the jinn don't speak Arabic. So some of them do. Hold on, hold on. You love you love to jump, right? How about ask me the question? Because when you're talking about quotations, because your criteria was quotations, and when I said to you about the other people that are quoted in the Quran, you said yes, that's also the same problem. Yes, yeah, the same problem. The thing is, Pharaoh didn't speak Arabic, Ibrahim alayhi salam didn't speak Arabic, yet everything that is quoted from them is in the Arabic language, in yep. the Quran. Yep. So from this perspective as well, we know, and this is what the scholars have stated, that the quotations in the, uh, of these people isn't verbatim because it's not even from the same language. So Allah is not quoting them in the same language. So likewise with the jinn, it is not necessary that the jinn have been quoted in the Arabic language or that they were speaking Arabic when they said this. We do know that the, the, the jinn have testified that they themselves know that they cannot do this. And Allah is affirming this and conveying this message to us that no matter how much jinn and mankind try and no matter how much we collate together to do this, we will never be able to do it. So, so therefore, and you're still running away from actually providing evidence that the criteria that you came along with so prepared and so confident about is actually a criteria for reproducing the Zoro Laihi. So I'm still actually waiting for you to produce this criteria according to Islam. Okay, so allow me to reply to that. Two sure. points. Firstly, 
the, the issue about the jinn speaking Arabic. He went from saying that jinn don't speak Arabic to some jinn do speak Arabic. We can surmise that the jinn who heard the recitation of the Quran do speak Arabic. That's the first thing. That we can surmise that they do speak Arabic. And so that when they speak, that they are speaking words that are incomparable. The issue of the language, the issue of the language is irrelevant because if Allah quotes languages, if Allah quotes speech accurately, unless somehow Allah is deficient in his abilities to translate, but if Allah quotes speech even in other languages, he testifies that those other languages are capable of the same kind of majesty and beauty and eloquence as the Arabic itself. Other quotations don't escape the problem. That's my first point. The second point he raised is grasping at this idea of where are the scholars that say that the quotation is a criteria. The criteria that I am using is what the Quran said not what the scholars say. The Quran says they couldn't produce a surah like unto the Quran. One minute, let me finish, let me finish. One surah of the Quran is three verses long. The surah of the jinn, where the jinn are quoted directly, are 15 verses long. Now he's already admitted that those 15 verses of the jinn speech is incomparable. That means that when the jinn speaks, their speech is incomparable, just like the shortest three verses of the Quran are incomparable. And that is a contradiction because the Quran says that jinn and men could not produce a surah like unto the Quran and Allah testifies that they already did. Anyway, brother, I don't see where this conversation is going any further, so I'll let you finish, uh, have the last word and then we'll stop. That's fine, I agree with you that it's not going anywhere because all you've done is constantly repeat yourself. Because uh, you haven't addressed the problem. problem. Because No, because you haven't actually addressed, because when you say the Quran, it self testifies to quotations. There is no verse in the Quran where Allah says that quotations of the Quran is reproducing a surah like the Quran. There's no there verse no of the verse Quran of that says the paraphrases either. There is no. The Quran Thank you. No, the, 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 because this is why I go to the scholars. I don't ever say it's like that in the Quran. So your Islam so your is not based oh, on the Quran, no. it's on the word of the scholars. No, no. This, again, the thing is, what you're just doing is actually displaying a lack of knowledge on how Islam works, yeah. on how exegesis works. Go on. And I'm not saying this with any disrespect. No, I, I don't take it as that. Fair enough. Because the Quran, the way the Quran is exegeted, there are six ways that it's exegeted. Do you know them? No. Okay. The scholars is one of them, right? So the scholars are very important. The ijtihad of the scholars actually falls back on the other five criteria. Yeah. So the scholars is actually the sixth, yeah. the last criteria, following on the fifth, last uh, on the previous five, right? And I'm not going to tell you them. Sorry. That's for you to go research and research, and research yeah, yeah, yourself, yeah. okay? The Quran doesn't say that because when you said because this was your claim, when I mentioned it was the scholars that have. Uh, displayed that the paraphrases, and I gave the reasons for it because of the way the previous prophets were uh, uh, quoted and they didn't speak Arabic um, and Allah is quoting them in Arabic, the Arabic language so there is a difference there so therefore it's not exact um, as, as well as with, the, with regards to the Qira'at and Musa, uh, sorry, Fir'aun um, so I gave the reasons for why this is a thing. So I gave the evidences. Yes, they're not cited because I didn't come prepared for that. Put me in a debate for, uh, with this and I have my citations. Um, uh, so, um, and, but you claimed that this idea of uh, quotations being the criteria is quoted in the Quran when it's not. So you can't say to me. No, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. But um, uh, when you can't. Uh, you can't Water, I haven't opened it yet. No, I'm fine, thank you. Um, oh no, I know we're, we're cool, it's just... Yeah, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. But, um, so with regards to this criteria, it doesn't exist anywhere in Islam. 
right? It doesn't exist in the works of the scholars, it doesn't exist in the Arabic language, it doesn't exist in the Quran, in any of the verses of the Quran, it doesn't exist in the Hadith, it doesn't exist in uh, the, uh, the saying of the companions. They are pretty much actually giving you the criteria <laughs> for the Quran, but um, you know, and the Athar of the Sahaba, okay? Uh, and the, the Tabi'in. It doesn't exist. So when you come to me and say that this is a criteria, this is why you ended up repeating yourself. Because the criteria doesn't exist. So when the criteria doesn't exist, you could shout, you could showboat, you could do all of this, it will ultimately fail because it doesn't exist from an from a Islamic uh, standard and it's, it becomes a, a non-argument. Okay, so allow me to reply to that. Bob, are you done? Uh, pretty much, nearly, wrapping up. Yeah. The first... Where Peace be with you, sister. Lata. Have you got Lata. baptized yet? I was invited you on Friday. My elder was buried in the pool. Oh, I'm sorry Earth. to hear that. I sent a message. I'm so sorry. Yeah, give time. I'll pray for him. It is, it is cold. Yeah, it is cold. It's vis Am I visibly shaking? <laughs> yeah. It is quite cold. Yeah. Yeah. I, sister, I'm, I'm talking been, with this guy, but I just wanted to say my respects to your elder who's now. passed away. Yeah, I'll exactly. say a prayer for him. And I look forward to coming to your baptism. Okay, God bless. Peace with you. So, so let me let me let me just reply to it. the first reason why I object to your scholar defence is because different Muslims follow different scholars. Let me finish. Different Muslims follow different scholars, and different scholars say different things. And in every argument that we use, where we quote the Quran, Muslims will always when we quote Muslim scholars, which we do often here. The reply of the Muslims is, no, we don't follow the scholars, we follow what the Quran says. Let me finish. Okay. This kind of hot, Scott, this kind of hopping from one foot to another is something that Muslims do to get themselves out of the problems that they encounter in their own religion. My second point, okay. this is going to be my final point and then we'll stop. Yeah. Well, I just want to reply to this hot so, thing. So, so my second yeah, point, we'll my second point is that you're saying that the criteria doesn't exist. The criteria is what the Quran says. The Quran says a surah like unto it, and it says that the Quran is the speech of Allah, which means that the speech of jinn and men is not comparable to the speech of Allah, and that Allah quotes the jinn, and he quotes them. There's no evidence that he paraphrases, none. And unless you're saying that Allah is incapable of quoting accurately, the fact that you've got the Qur'an's putting different words into Pharaoh's mouth only means that you've got more problems in the Qur'an because the Qur'an has more contradictions. And the Qur'an says that if it was from any other than Allah, I should be able to find discrepancies. And I do. And I'm demonstrating that I do. And that means for you, that the Quran is not to be relied upon as the word of okay. Allah. Right. You should abandon it. I'll, I'll let you finish. What are, you, are you done, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Again, with the regards to the Quran, you don't even know which verse I'm talking about and what I'm I never addressed the Quran. To. Right. So, you don't actually know what I'm referring to with regards to the... the I never the addressed it. I know, but I'm telling you, you probably don't know. You don't know that, because I never addressed it. Okay. Um, with regards to the criteria, I, I really want to just address this whole idea that we hopscotch between Quran and scholars. With regards to the scholars, when you quote a scholar to us, a couple of things would happen. We would either say the scholar is wrong, okay? Because we all know that so there are some things that the scholars have been wrong about, yeah. okay? But what do you call it? I know this with the inter-Islamic polemics, right? I, 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 I get involved in that and I know that sometimes the scholars have said things that are theologically wrong, right? Yeah. And we, we know that they're just human, so they can get things wrong. Not a problem, okay? And then we'll say, yeah, they, they were wrong on this point. No problem. Yep. And then we'll direct you to a scholars or this consensus of the scholars where they got it right. Yep. So that's one thing that would happen. Secondly, we'll say this scholar is not from the Ahlul Sunnah with Jama'a, right? Yep. So they're not mainstream scholars. So different scholars followed by different Muslims, which is what I said. Okay. No, but it, again, when you, when you say, because the thing is, when you come to... Are you, are you trying to deny that Muslims follow different scholars? No, no, I'm not denying that. Are you denying that I'm, those I'm scholars say different no, things? I'm saying that this is something that you're, you're putting uh, as an umbrella that Muslims use as, a, as something. It's not used, it's not used as, a, as a dodging uh, tactic, essentially. Because, for example, if you speak to a Shia, 
He's going to quote a Shia scholar, right? What I said is when we quote scholars yeah, but it depends that on embarrass the... Muslims in the park, mm. they say, oh no, we don't follow the scholar, we follow the Quran. No, no, okay. well, so then when we quote the Quran, on, you no. say, no, no, you've got to understand it from what the yeah, scholars yeah, say. No. That's not true. That is exactly what we've caught on film multiple times. They have their tactics, man. Yeah, yeah, of course they do. The, um, like maybe the thing is, no, no, hold on. The thing is, even let's say you're speaking to a Sunni Muslim, right? And you say something, uh, you say, you, you quote a verse, and then you say the scholars have said so and so about the verse. Now, a layman Muslim, what do you call it, might have a difficult uh, time answering the question, and, yep. and because you brought up a scholar, and they're not quite sure, they might actually try and use this tactic. Yeah. Not denying that, Thank because you. they ain't got a clue, right? When you speak to a Muslim who studied his scripture, who studied the works of the scholars, who studied the criteria, who, stu who essentially studied Islam, right? Yeah. To a reasonable level, they're not going to do this to you, right? This is why I haven't, this is why I've, uh, what do you call it, mentioned what the scholars have said and... Come, and, and uh, no, you, 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 you've, 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 you've conjectured that the scholars have said this. You've no, provided no evidence. No, I've provided the evidence that they have given. In terms of citations, yeah, you're right. I haven't given citations, but neither have you. But I, I cited the Quran. No, that's not a bit of evidence because I've cited. I've cited <laughs> because no, because quote, because thank you for that Quran, catchphrase. Yeah, no, it's true because just quoting a verse doesn't mean you understand it. It's not evidence that you've understood the yeah. verse by just simply quoting it, mm -hmm. right? I want to um, hijack you for so, five minutes after you finish also. Sure. Because then that, that's like me quoting a verse of the Quran and saying, oh, Bob, there you are, I've given you evidence. You're not going to accept it because then you're going to say, well, this is your understanding. That's not evidence. Likewise, right? Just you quoting it doesn't mean you've understood it. So the evidence has to be something else, right? You, the quotation of the Quran would be the primary source. Then you have the explanation for that, right? So forget catchphrases and stuff. You're, we're bigger than that, all right, please. Um, so, there are, like I said, a couple of things would happen with the scholars. One thing is that we say they're wrong because you, you might have quoted someone that actually got something wrong. Another is a layman Muslim would actually try and dodge the thing by shifting across. Another thing would be that there is a difference of opinion among the scholars with regards to something, with regards to a verse, the way it's applied, the context, whatever it may be. So, we might say, so you might quote a specific thing and say, that is the Islamic narrative, and we're like, no. That's not the Islamic narrative, because there's a difference of opinion. If I wrote 15 verses... If you wrote 15 verses... If I wrote Quran, 15 verses and said, this is comparable to the Quran, then and I wrote in... What, what, and, 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 and what would... How, how would you test it? Okay, so this actually has been done before, right? People have attempted the, the Quran, uh, to uh, produce a surah like it, right? Um, how would you test it? So we would test it based on the uh, uh, Arabic language. Yep. Okay, we test it based on, on its, uh, so the Arabic language would have to reach a certain state of balaha, which is eloquence. Yep. Okay, it would have to have um, the ability to be... So eloquence? Yeah, uh, so it would have to be, no, like I said, the criteria you produced earlier, that's true. There you go. Okay. I, so I wasn't wrong. No, I know you're not wrong. <laughs> I know you weren't wrong. You have a big ego, boy. I know just, you weren't wrong. I'm just pointing out the truth, he no, no, says no. that I'm not wrong. I know you're not wrong. My point wasn't that you were right or wrong. My point earlier was that when you came to me, you came to me based on what other Muslims have right. said. Let, 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 me, let, let, let me ask you one final question, sure. and please then let's stop. Okay. Um, the 15 verses of Jinn speech, do they meet the criteria? It's actually that, Allah speaking. That, do, do, and he's quoting the Jinn, but do they, do they meet all the criteria? The, I know how you, you're trying to spin it. I just want you to answer that question. Yeah, but the way you're... The way Allah you're speaking, speaks Allah and he speaks. quotes the jinn. No, but Do not, the words that Allah testifies the jinn spoke meet all the criteria of a perfect so, Quran? Okay, right, so let me answer it this That's way. That's what I'm asking. Okay, so this is the way that I'm going to answer it because this is what is actually happening. The jinn have stated, the, have stated these things, right? At least in the meaning of what Allah has presented. But Allah has said it in his own way, which supersedes how they would have said it. Can you, can you, can you, can you demonstrate to me that Allah changes the words of the jinn? I, I, I quoted the evidences that the scholars have provided with regards to how Allah quotes people within the Quran in terms of citations. I don't have any citations. On so that what you're saying is Allah, Allah puts words that the jinn didn't speak into the Quran no, and so, says no, that no, they're no. from. So the jinn did speak those words. He didn't speak 
So, for example, if I say, for example, if I say, um, like, let's say tomorrow, I say, Bob, what do you call it, said to me in Speaker's Corner that there was a contradiction in the Quran because the jinn were quoted. That's not exactly what you've said, but I've got the gist. I've got the gist of what you said correct. Yeah. I'm not misquoting you. I'm actually telling people what you've said. That yeah. is what you've said, yeah. right? Yeah. So when Allah is quoting them, right, even if it's not verbatim, um, what do you call it? It doesn't mean that he's misrepresented. But where does where does the Quran say that? Where does Allah say this is not actually like what said, the jinn like said? What well, I'm paraphrasing. Right, like said, Allah doesn't Allah doesn't say Allah does not say in his Quran. I'm paraphrasing what the jinn said. Allah says that the jinn said he. The literally he says he said. Yeah, but this is how we speak as well. We so when we say when I said like I gave the example about you, right? Tomorrow if I say to my family. Oh, I had a conversation with Bob yesterday, and Bob said, and I paraphrase what you said. I'm still yep. using the word say, he said, yep. but I'm, giving, I'm conveying the, the accurate meaning of what you're saying. Which only and demonstrates the point that all human speech is just as able to be eloquent or as beautiful no. as the Quran. No, it doesn't demonstrate that because the way Allah has done it, like I said. If Allah speaks eloquent. in a way that we understand, then so, that means that his speech is like our speech. No, it doesn't. It just means that Allah has made, has spoken to us in a way that we can understand Him, but the way, but to recreate His speech is impossible. Yeah. So to speak like He does is impossible. This yeah. is why, as I was mentioning earlier, uh, the people who have tried to recreate the Quran, uh, recreate a, uh, a surah like it, they ended up plagiarizing from the Quran. Sometimes verses on end. Right? Well, in this case, Allah has plagiarized from the jinn. No, He hasn't, because the. the, the the because no, hold on. What's a, a plagiarism? A plagiarism can be to take someone else's work and call it your own, right? But quote, if I, you don't, if I that, you don't say that about quotes. Quotes. Thank since, you. Since is a quote you, is a quote an accurate not, statement of what someone said? Yeah, but, but thank you. It could be direct or indirect. But when you say plagiarism, a quote is not plagiarism. Where'd you get that from? Is this is this when Allah says the jinn said? Is no, that no, a no, direct? No, is no, it no, a direct no, or indirect no, quote? Hold on. Why is that? We already established it's an indirect quote. Where, where does it say it's an indirect quote? I already quote? told you that's not how exegesis works of the Quran. You have okay. you have to see the you have to see the Quran, the Quran, which is exegesis of the Quran used in the Quran. But this is not all. This is not all it is. It's not like the Bible where the Christians claim that you exegete the the Bible within itself. The Quran, the Quran has six um, what do you call it criteria. Yeah, six uh, criteria in order to exegete it, right? So you can't just say, oh, well, the Quran doesn't say that, therefore it doesn't, that's not a criteria. Yeah. That's not how it works. So, brother, we're going we're to close it down. We'll leave okay. it at that. I, I want to say to you, though, that I don't find your argument convincing. I don't find your argument convincing because what you have to do is you have to distort what the Quran, you have to distort what the Quran is and what the Quran is doing. No, the Quran is quoting the jinn, it's quoting the jinn directly and it's quoting their speech. And that means no that when, when the, I literally showed you the no. passage, when the Quran does that, it literally contradicts itself and contradicts its own claims. No, no, no. Anyway, let, let's just leave no. it there. All right. It was lovely speaking to you as always. Okay. You're looking very smart, sir. He's going to grab me for five minutes and then I guess I'm talking to Hashim. Hi there. Hi, How are you? My name is John in English. Let me get your rap, but it's, it's only fair. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Hi, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So, um, as, as, as usual, sometimes we have individuals in the corner that come prepared for a certain argument. They come prepared to try and disprove Islam. Unfortunately, it crumbles because they don't think it through. So when someone comes and prepare, is prepared and they, they challenge on their own criteria and they can't produce the criteria that they, on the subject that they're supposed to be prepared on, um, it makes their argument very weak for, to begin with. As we have seen with the conversation with Bob, what he ended up doing was repeating his claim, was repeating everything that he has said, rather than dealing with the criteria itself. Now, towards the end of the conversation, we actually displayed that he doesn't actually understand what criteria is. He believes that quoting the scripture in of itself is evidence. That is not necessarily true because to quote saying and saying that I've quoted this for you doesn't necessarily mean that you have understood the the scripture. Now, if it comes to a clear uh, verse, you could say that that is the case. But when you try to say that this is saying a, a something specific that is not explicit within the Quran itself or within any scripture, you can't say that for sure. 
So we've shown that Bob has not been able to produce any criteria from the Quran or from any Islamic literature to state that quoting the Quran is um, a tantamount to producing a surah like it. To produce something similar to it or to produce something like it would mean that it has to be external to it, not a quote from it. Uh, this is common sense. And uh, in order, and when someone says that uh, a quote is plagiarism, uh, then that means any academic paper that you look at, and you, sir, may Allah guide you. Um, when uh, that means in any academic paper, if you quote uh, an academic, you are essentially plagiarizing uh, from him. But no one in academia would say so. Uh, now, the, this idea that Allah quoting people in the Quran means that they have created something like it. The Christians today have posited that that means Ibrahim السلام, has recited the Quran. But the Quran is the speech of Allah. How is Ibrahim reciting that? He didn't have a Quran to recite. Same with Musa. It actually means that according to the Christian, Fir'aun is reciting the Quran. Now we know that Fir'aun was a disbeliever. He would not recite the Quran. And the Quran is not any scripture apart from the scripture that was revealed to uh, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Quran also mentions that it makes a distinction between the Quran that was revealed to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Kalam of Allah, the, stuff, the things that he speaks uh, outside of the Quran. So as we know, we have Hadith Qudsi, which are not Quran, but this is the speech of Allah. So we cannot recreate uh, the speech of Allah. And how do we know that sometimes the speech of uh, the people, or the quotations of the people are uh, indirect quote, uh, quotations? It's because as the scholars have mentioned, and as I mentioned to Bob, I don't have the citations on me at the moment, um, as this is not something I have come prepared for, but Alhamdulillah, I know enough to be able to tell you that the scholars have mentioned that Allah has quoted the um, Fir'aun and the other prophets in the Arabic language, but they, their languages were not Arabic. So for, for us to say that Allah has quoted them exactly as they said it, exactly in the Arabic language, makes no sense. Uh, and this also falls into what we see in the Qira'at. Um, the the stuff that the Christians come with are very strong because Alhamdulillah, Islam cannot be challenged. So they have to make up criteria, they have to make up criteria, they have to try and seem confident, but when they are caught on their criteria, they are reduced to repeating themselves in order to show to the people that they have not failed their argument. And this is why we have seen Bob showboat and, and be very loud because ultimately, as he admitted, it was to draw a crowd. It wasn't for the purpose of truth, because if it was for truth, you would admit that your criteria has no basis in Islam. Um, and as we know, Bob c came to this criteria of um, understanding how the Quran could be reduced or what the Quran provides or Islam provides as a criteria for produ uh, producing a surah like it from Muslims. So he acknowledges that the criteria has to come from Muslim sources. Now we know he got lucky with the criteria. But he didn't re realize that by using Islam as the criteria for his argument, it will ultimately fail because the criteria doesn't exist. Thank you. That's right. Thank you. Okay, so I just want to do a wrap up of the last talk, the last talk that we had. The, the brother's defense was essentially that Allah is paraphrasing what other people said. That, that's what it boiled down to. Now anyone who reads the text of the Quran can tell very clearly that it's not presenting these as paraphrases. It's presenting these as quotes. It's presenting these as the actual speech of the people that are being quoted. And his argument was only based upon the idea that um, if the, you've got one part of the Quran that quotes them saying one thing and another part of the Quran that quotes them saying something else. Well, I would just put simply put to you that Allah's got his quotes wrong, that the Quran contradicts itself. But furthermore, what do you do with those parts of speech that are quoted where they're not quoted in other places? 
And at the end of the day, the the <laughs> sorry, I'm <laughs> I'm being put off by someone singing in a wheelchair. Anyway, um, this particular the surah of the jinn that we have 15 verses of speech for isn't quoted somewhere else. And the Quran's really clear. The Quran says that this is what the jinn said. Not, not that Allah is just recalling what the jinn said as some kind of paraphrase. Um, and the result of that is that the, Allah has testified to the fact that the jinn have produced speech equal to his own. And to simply say that these are paraphrases means that you have to say something that the Quran doesn't. I challenge any Muslim, show me where it says Allah says this is my recollection or this is kind of what they said or I, I, I'm just paraphrasing. He doesn't. Allah says they said, he said. He's quoting them and it was demonstrated that that is even how the honest Muslim understood it because right at the beginning if you remember the beginning of that conversation I got him to say what how are you confident that this is actually what they said because paraphrases are often not what people say or are people's interpretations of what people say so and when I, I challenged him like this he said no he was confident that this is what the jinn was said that this is what the jinn had said because of who it was that was saying what the jinn had said. So you have said that because you believe that the Quran is from Allah, yeah. therefore you believe that these quotations are true yes. and that the jinn have really said these things. Yes. Right, so we, we agree that it's the jinn speaking. Yeah. So the defense of a paraphrase doesn't sit with the text and therefore it is wrong. Um, the defense of the paraphrase also essentially means that Allah never quotes anyone in the Quran. Now why doesn't Allah ever quote anyone in the Quran? Why? It's a good question. What, what, what's stopping Allah from quoting people? There's no reason to believe that Allah's not quoting people. He's giving an account of something that happened in history. So the, the crux of the argument you can see in the debate, I wanted to use my wrap up just to respond to this, this issue of the paraphrase clearly. You can tell a paraphrase from a quote. If I say and then I quote a long speech that someone gives, I'm quoting them, I'm reciting what they said. Remember the Quran is a recitation after all. So Allah is reciting what the jinn have said. Your light's gone, JC. Um, so Allah is, the, the camera's still working. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the, the Allah is reciting what the jinn said. Remember, it's a recitation. It's the ad verbatim speech of Allah, and Allah is ad verbatim reciting what the jinn say. And that means that the words of the jinn are equal to the words of Allah, which means that there is a contradiction in the Quran.